other strangers Believe me when I say Loving me is loving danger Your heart is bound to break I walk alone in the night Beneath the pale moon Loving's for the fools Baby, beware of my body I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a I want to thank you for hitting that play button today. Uh, if this is your very first time stopping by the channel, my name is Chuck, and I'm the proud owner of a 2019 ZR1, and her name is Fearless. Also, want to sh uh, just give a real quick shout out to all of my family members. That's everybody who's hitting that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. I appreciate each and every one of you, and also a huge fist pump to my thumbs up squad or they're out there you guys know who you are I appreciate you always coming in and smashing that thumbs up hey even if you want to hit that if you want to smash that thumbs down that helps the channel too just any type of interaction <laughs> helps build the channel I also uh, want to give a quick plug to the brand new Corvettes 918 dot com store I'll have it linked below I do have a few uh, items already on it I've got this shirt so if you want to pick up a shirt uh, I've also got three different hats I've got this one this is my heritage hat and then I have one, I have actually two other ones that are commemorative hats. Now once these hats are gone, I'm not going to make any more. I've made so many of these just uh, for the cars and the release. This one is the one that I dedicated to the ZR1 uh, Fearless, where it's got the blue and some of the gray in it. It's got a blue bill underneath. And then this one is for my wife's Grand Sport, the 2017 Collector's Edition, where it's got kind of the tension blue in it. This is actually, both of these have been very popular. My wife's is winning, so make sure, <laughs> make sure you pick up uh, and support Fearless there. Uh, but once those are gone, that will be it. I also have a polo that should be here this week. Uh, I know some people have already taken advantage of that. The outpouring of that has been huge. If you're not following on Instagram as well as Facebook, I made some posts there. And and just I was blown away by the response of people who were already grabbing some of the merchandise there uh, that does go to help to support the channel uh, so I appreciate you guys doing that not only you know is it cool to support Corvette and yes uh, before I start getting all the emails uh, the company who is making these for me already has licensing so don't worry about it I'm not uh, I'm not doing any infringements or anything like that on the Corvette logo plus they probably owe me huge anyway you know how many people buy Corvettes because because of this channel quite a few so we really need to get a discount code from GM uh, that way you guys can have a discount code when you go down and buy your brand new Corvette <laughs> when you get a discount. Today's video, I want to get the car out. Haven't got to drive it that much. I've only got about 170 miles on it. But I want to give you some, some stark, stark differences that I've already seen between this car and my previous Z06 that I had, which was a 2016. Uh, you know, other than outside of the appearance of it, just the way the car drives and handles is totally different. Uh, so guys, we're going to do a quick cold start on this so you can kind of hear that exhaust. It is amazing. I will not need to change the exhaust on this car one bit because it sounds absolutely amazing. So let's I'll throw some cameras on here. We're going to jump in the car and we're going to have a, a quick discussion on the 2019 ZR1. <laughs> Guys, 
guys, it's nice to get out here and just take a little drive. I wanted to jump in the car and give you my initial thoughts of this amazing ZR1 because it is exactly that. We're in the car, driving down the road here. I'm gonna be showing you some different viewpoints. Of course, we're gonna look off the hood. We're also gonna take a look from the back, back um, uh, spoiler so you guys can see that wing in the back uh, and how it looks you know just looking back towards the actual uh, traffic that's coming and then I'm gonna have a side view and then in the car we've got the main view that you're seeing here and then I'm going to uh, every now and then maybe switch over to the side view uh, just if you're brand new to my channel I, I love views so it, I like bringing you not just me in a car and, and looking at one camera and every now and then you seeing you know something else. I like to give you lots of different snapshots as we're going along because I know I like to watch videos like that. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that. Now the first thing I want to point out as far as what I've noticed difference between the Z06 of course uh, to the ZR1 and that is the exhaust just when I'm, we're talking stock exhaust now on my Z06 I did have the course extreme system with the uh, X pipes this car sounds to me a little bit better than that car <laughs> and it's uh, quote unquote stock uh, so I know I'm not going to be doing any modifications to this car whatsoever when it comes to the exhaust system on it it does have four different modes that you can put it in through the infotainment system um, and as you go through each one it does change the pitch a little bit two of them I didn't find to be really that big of a, uh, of a difference uh, and two of them I did I'm just gonna leave it in the in the highest you know most uh, aggressive mode it has and then I did set up touring mode to be more in the stealth mode so that if, when I'm coming into the neighborhood at night or uh, I'm going to be inside, you know, cold starting it or something like that, I'm going to leave it in that touring mode. That way I'm not, you know, waking up my neighbors down the street because that's what this thing will do. The thing I, I noticed in this car is definitely the HUD system. You know, in a Corvette, you have the heads-up display. Well, the heads-up display, yes, you can still pretty much see it all, but like a third of it is kind of like cut at an angle because of the massive hood that's on this car. It's still visible, it's still something that you can see as far as if you're used to looking at that, uh, seeing how fast you're going and so forth. The thing is the 3LZ package that I came from in the Z06 versus this package is totally different from what I'm used to. Yeah, of course, you got the carbon fiber steering wheel on the front, uh, on the top and the bottom. You got the Alcantara on the sides, complete blue stitching throughout the car. And, you know, I'm not used to the, the, the instrument paneling, the carbon fiber that's on that is that really gloss. It's not that kind of matte looking finish. Looks absolutely amazing in here. Uh, the diamond stitching on top, the hood. Uh, my wife's uh, Grand Sport has that and then just you know just everything in here when you touch it I just it, to me this is the type of setup you just feel a lot of quality um, yes is it a little bit pricey <laughs> some could argue that but uh, I wouldn't have it any other way that's for sure the thing that's different with the Z06 uh, and the ZR1 is that now and I don't know if this is for all 2019 models but there's only three drive modes now. We used to, before, I had, you had weather mode, you had eco mode, you had sport mode, touring mode, and you had track mode. Well, in this car, all there is is touring mode, sport mode, and track mode. So you don't have the other two modes. I guess they figure you're probably not gonna use those anyway, <laughs> which I very seldom did. It, it, the weather mode was nice if it was raining or something like that, um, but very seldom did I ever use the eco mode. This, uh, you know, it's going to get great gas mileage, um, you know, that's rated at 15 uh, MPG. These cars easily get in the 20s on the highway as long as you're not going crazy with it, uh, which is much better than my wife's Jeep. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, the drive modes are a little bit different now. People have had the question of, Chuck, what's it look like when you're looking out the back? Um, is there, you know, is the wing do any obstruction or anything like that to your view back there? Absolutely none. When I look at my review mirror, all I'm seeing are the two posts, uh, are the two connecting arms that come down to the body that hook the wing to it. But I don't see the wing itself. It's a little bit above that. 
Uh, so there's no obstruction in my view. I can see everything perfectly back there. Um, yeah, no issues there whatsoever. The big thing that I've noticed is the carbon ceramics. This is my very first Corvette that I've ever owned that had the carbon ceramics set up on it. I will say this to any of you who are thinking about buying a Corvette this year. You're thinking about, you know, I, want, I think I'm going to build one. You know, when it comes to that point where you need to do that check mark, do I want to do the Z07 package? Do I want to do carbon ceramics? Those types of things. Well, GM has made it now where you can get the carbon ceramics and you don't have to get the entire Z07 package. Do I think that basically $8,000 check mark on ordering is worth it? 100%. Not only is the stopping power absolutely different, I mean, these th this thing is so much more responsive than my other brakes were, uh, even at OEM, that, um, you know, it, it's definitely worth it. You get no brake dust, you know, very little brake dust. Again, I haven't cleaned this car since I've had it, and every time I get out, I'm kind of wiping to see how much brake dust is on my finger, and it's like, like hardly anything whatsoever. Another thing that I've noticed about this car, and I don't know if it's because the front end is wider. Now, we've got a little bit bigger wheel. They have the same Cup 2 tires on them, so the size of the tires itself has not changed. But the wheels have changed. They're a little bit bigger. And then the front end is about a little over 2 inches wider than the Z06. And one thing I've noticed, if you guys have a Corvette, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a Stingray Grand Sport Z06, but the way the roads are designed is you've got kind of like little ruts. And if you've ever noticed how you've went from one lane to the next lane, you can kind of feel it kind of pulling you a little bit. Um, Oklahoma, we have that a lot. And, you know, I know they're, they're designed that way for a reason to kind of keep you in those, in those channels. But you always kind of want to, I usually try to drive just outside of those channels a little bit. Kind of helps with the wear on the tires. Uh, someone had, had mentioned that to me. May, made a ton of sense. Uh, I think he's an engineer that builds roads or does something here. But um, but whenever you're going from one lane to the next lane, you know, if you've ever been coming over and you kind of feel that jerkiness, I haven't felt that one time in this car. Uh, just getting out and driving it and changing the lanes, I don't feel that because these cars are just naturally, the way their suspension is, you know, they kind of want to pull you into where the road is. Uh, so when you're on a track and so forth. But I don't feel that as much in this car, matter of fact, I haven't felt it at all, as I did in my Z06, I would feel that kind of pulling over. And my wife had made mention to that when we were out yesterday that, man, this car just seems like it just kind of it goes from one lane to the other just a lot better than the other one did. Um, and that's definitely, definitely true. Uh, and that's one thing I have noticed in this car. Again, I don't know what it is, whether it's the suspension on it. Again, the front end is just wider. That I'm not, not too sure of. Well, everybody, that's today's video. I want to thank you again for stopping by. All the future videos are going to have Fearless in them. Uh, I've got to start her process of getting her dialed in. Again, I ain't even given her first wash yet. So I will have the camera set up for that. we got a washer. We've got to do a decontamination on her, get all the iron and everything off of her, get her prepped up, get her uh, polished and shiny and ready for her ceramic coating. Hopefully I'll be able to do that in this, within this next week. And then after that, it's just time to enjoy it, get out and drive and make a lot of amazing videos with this car. But guys, until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your week. Now, let's check out some of your beautiful rides.
until you discover it is within each other to forgive and make amends. If I am known then, or what I know now, I wouldn't have said what I said. I took the long road.